Hey guys, how are you? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing a Friday review for the House of Horror, Spanish Gen 669. The film I've chosen to review for you this Friday is a horror film from Australia, English language, released in the year 2005, directed by Brett Leonard, and this movie is called Feed. And the story to Feed is as follows. While, while policing the underbelly of the internet, Philip, a hotshot cyber crime investigator, finds a suspicious website for feeders and gainers, the weird world of fat erotica a sexual subculture where fat-admiring men seek out obese women. But one of these men may be going too far, feeding his charges to death and publishing details online. Philip tracks him to Toledo, Ohio, and goes there to, to determine to uncover the sinister underworld. What he discovers may cost him his life or his sanity. So the movie starts off with this website that is called Gainers and Feeders. It's about these obese women who have been fed by these obese-loving men. So it's a fetish sort of uh, uh, website, and it's being investigated by an Australian cyber investigator. Now, he is assigned the task of following this website that seems to be going a little bit too far. This very psychotic individual seems to be feeding these people to death. So the cyber investigator tracks him to Toledo, Ohio. He goes to America and he's trying to find out the truth, but the truth uh, turns out to be far more terrifying than he first thought, which could cost him his life or his sanity. So that's all I'm going to give you on the synopsis. If you want to know more, please go out there and see this film for yourself. Now my thoughts on this movie. This movie had a really good idea and I thought if it was done properly it could have been a really good film. Unfortunately, all of the potential of the film is never realised and it becomes a great big mess. Now, to start off with, it is an Australian film and there is nothing more than I hate when you have an Australian film and then you base some of it in America but you still stay in Australia. So basically he goes to Ohio, uh, Toledo, Ohio but you can still see it's Australia, and they've got these Australian actors with these forced American accents, which sounds ridiculous, and not only is it pathetic to actually hear these uh, people, you know, thinking that, you know, you could get away with this, you know, basically insulting the viewer's intelligence, it's just, uh, to me, it's an insult to the Australian film industry. It feels like you have to have something American in it to sell it. Why not have an Australian-based film for Australian audiences? You don't need to force these American accents. If you want Americans in the film, Cast Americans, and if you want some of the film based in America, base it, actually shoot it in the United States. Don't try and sell it off as the United States while you're still doing it in Sydney. It's just absolute insult, uh, an insult to the viewer's intelligence, and I, it came across as a really irritating sort of aspect to it, because this is not the first Australian film that's tried this, so I hated that absolutely. I thought the acting in some areas was pretty ordinary, but that was down to the fact that these forced accents create lost all sense of authenticity, so the actors really didn't have too much to play with there. I thought the script was lacking. It, as I said, it had a really interesting idea. There are some really disgusting moments, but those moments don't feel like they connect very well to the story. It doesn't feel like it was as disturbing as it should have been. And that's something I really didn't like because, you know, basically this is sexual fetishism towards food and towards, you know, these mega obese women. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being overweight or obese, but the way that they do it in the film is really disgusting. And I thought that was a really good premise for a very good film. But I couldn't help but feel to myself that the director of this movie missed the treat because it really it felt very underwhelming. Uh, the, uh, the soundtrack was, uh, you know, it was nothing to write home about. The pacing of the film, it was all right. But the translation from Australia to the United States was insulting. I absolutely hated it and I thought it took a, a hell of a lot away from this film. I thought the ending was really ridiculous and as I said unfortunately it just comes across as a complete mess rather than a worthy disturbing extreme film. So overall for Feed I'm only going to give it one star. I thought this was very disappointing. A lot of potential but that potential is never realised. So bitterly disappointing and it is not coming recommended. Alright guys that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time keep watching movies and I'll see you later.